everybody this is Shannon from another yarn and today I'm going to do a tutorial showing you how to turn the circle into the square you can see five very simple rounds and you can do this now your square doesn't have to be as colorful as this this is just as beautiful I'm making these squares for Camp Boggy Creek going for the brightest possible these make a five inch square I'm using an H five millimeter crochet hook. The yarn I'm using is Big Twist Value. It is 380 yards for the six ounces. It's just a typical worsted weight yarn. Use what you have available. I'm sure it will be absolutely perfect. So let's get started. So here's the yarn. And I've got an interesting way of doing a magic ring. You can do it however you want to. But let me move these out of the way. So for that, I'm wrapping around this way and then I do that twice okay and what that does is it just makes it a little bit tighter then there's my first that's my magic ring nice a little bit loose I chain three one two three I'm going to place 11 double crochets in that ring again do the ring any way you feel like it so with the chain three that will be 12 double crochets so there's two double crochets in the chain three, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's my twelve. And then I'm going to slip stitch in the first or the top of that chain three right here. And that first round is done. And I'm going to snip that end off from the head. So making it colorful, you do have more ends to deal with, but that's okay. If you wanted to do the one color, continue on like this. You don't have to change yarns, but I'm going to. So that is round one. Round two, I'm going to go in any loop that I find available. This one works fine. I like to leave this much for a tail. Just for me, I, I do use the, I'll crochet over it, but I also sew it. First one, I use both. And then I drop that. Chain the next two. So that's three chains. And I'm gonna put two double crochets in every stitch. So at the end of this round, we'll have 24 double crochets. So there's two in that one, two in this one. And I wanted to show you something that I do sometimes a little bit special over the chain three of the previous round. So here you can see, this is the chain three right here that I had from the previous round. And if I go right here for my double crochets, it to me looks like there's too much of a gap right there. This is just a preference. This isn't necessary at all. What I do for this one for the two, you can see right here that I go one right there. And this is just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing and then one on top of that chain. So that's my two double crochets for that stitch. It's a little spaced out, but then I don't have that hole. And to me, I think it looks better. And I'm going to continue around with the two in each one. Okay, so I'm going to speed this portion up and meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so there's my last two right here. And again, I will slip stitch right there in the top. And that round is now done. Take my scissors. And that round is done. So we are now two rounds complete. For our third one, we're doing the same thing. Grab any stitch. We attached it and we chained three. That is our first stitch. The next stitch, we're gonna put in two double crochets. One, two. Okay, that's our pattern repeat all the way around. One double crochet in the next stitch two double crochets in the next stitch. Now I've got this right here, that chain three, and you're like, wait a minute, you're only gonna put one in there and that's gonna leave that gap. So on this one, for this for the two, here's the one. I'm gonna put this one right here. 
that's the two for that stitch. And then I've got one stitch for the next one going in the top of that chain. And now two stitches for the next. And I'm gonna continue that all the way around, 36 double crochets. I'm gonna continue that pattern repeat, one double crochet, then two double crochets all the way around for 36 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. Last two double crochets. Now you don't have to do this step. I like it because I think it just adds a little bit of a pop. If you'll notice here on this white one, I did not go into both stitches or both loops. You can see I left that top loop available. I only did my border in the back loop. You don't have to do that, but this does allow you to add things. You can go ahead and crochet with this, add um, ruffles or anything you want to to really spruce up that square. So for this last one to make that easier, I'll go like this and just that one loop. So one option is to just go the one loop. The other one is to pick up both of them for the chain right there. And then slip stitch that and cut the thread. And that's leaving both loops available to me. And I'll go like this and I'll sew that in. Like I said, that not a problem. So we are now done with our circle. This one has all the ends woven in. This one has a bit of a mess, not a problem. Perfect. So I'm gonna grab any loop, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna start with a chain one. Got my yarn, grab that chain one. That does not count as a stitch. So this is where we're gonna go ahead and turn our circle into a square. And that first stitch, I'm going to single crochet. One single crochets, two single crochet. Because this is in the middle of the square. This isn't the corner. This is the very middle portion of this square. Now I'm going to do two half double crochets. One, two. Now the next stitch I'm going to do a shell. And that is right here. One double crochet, two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets in the same stitch. That was a little odd. Obviously, this is in that chain three that we had previously. Not a problem. That's our corner. We've made our first corner. Half double crochets, one half double crochet. Let's see, did I just skip a stitch? Where was that one? I did. There we go. One half double crochets, two half double crochets, now four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Now two half double crochets, one, two. And now we're at that corner again, and the corner requires the shell stitch. That's two double crochets, one, Arms getting tangled. Two, chain two, and two more double crochets. One, two. Now we're going to repeat what we did for this side right here. That's one half double crochets, two half double crochets, and four singles. One, two, three, four. Two more half double crochets. You can see how nicely that is turning that into a square. And we're doing that corner again, which is the shell. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets all in the same stitch. And you can really see how that's shaping up. Depending on the size square you need, you could stop after this round. I'm personally making five inch squares, so I am putting on that next round. Two half double crochets, four singles, one, two, three, four, two half double crochets. Doing the shell, which is two double crochets, 
chain two, two double crochet. We're doing our two half double crochets, one, two, and then finishing off with two single crochets. There we go. And we're gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet. Perfect. Now for the last round, and your square, circle to a square, will be complete. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're gonna put a double crochet in every stitch and then a shell in each corner. So double crochet, there's five right here to get to the corner. Three, four, five stitches to get to the corner. There we are. And in the corner, we're gonna do that shell again. That's two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And now we're going to double crochet in every stitch across. So there are 12 stitches on each side, and then we're doing that shell stitch again in the corner. So that's two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets in that corner stitch. You can see how we've got that, and that's really shaping up quite nicely. We continue on putting a double crochet in every stitch. Now we're at the corner again. Two double crochets, one, two, chain two, and then two more double crochets. One, two, so that corner's finished. We're gonna continue, double crochet the edges. There's 12 stitches, there's two, three, four. We're at the corner again, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And we're gonna finish off this last side with the six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch in the top right here, top of the chain three. There you are. And snip off your end. So that is the circle and the square. I just realized on this one, I went into both loops and you can see the difference on this one. Right here, I left that and I did all of that first round with just the back loops. And you can see what that looks like. And here, I did it going into both loops. So you can determine what you think looks the prettiest, the best, that's most pleasing to your eye. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you make some squares. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>